Welcome to Boots Buy. My name's William, and today we're talking about the five essential boots you're gonna need for fall 2020. Let's get into it. Boom! Welcome again, so great to see you. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up. Super helpful for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you for doing that. I woke up this morning, it was like 55 degrees and I, I said, it's time. So now I'm doing it. I've had this video on my mind for a little while and now I'm getting into it. It's the five essential boots you need for fall 2020. Let's get into this list right now. At number one, I'm doing the all-rounder boot. This is the Red Wing Iron Ranger. I have wanted this boot for over three years and then about a month and a half ago, I ended up picking it up uh, and I did a review. You can check out my review up here. But basically, I've fallen in love with this boot. I wish I got it three years earlier. I'm kicking myself for waiting for so long. But this is a fantastic, all-rounder boot for fall. What we have here is a 270 degree Goodyear welt, super, super high quality full grain leather. This is tanned in Red Wing, Minnesota, uh, owned by and in a tannery that is owned by Red Wing. Um, but yeah, these shoes, uh, these boots, I've really fallen in love with them. The heel on this, the sole is super, super sturdy. It's sturdier than any other boot I have. Uh, the leather is really thick as well. It feels uh, feels manly on my feet. So I really got to recommend as the number one most essential boot for fall 2020, I got to put Red Wing Iron Ranger up there. The second most essential boot for fall 2020 is a Chelsea boot. Here I have the M. Jemmy Dritto. This is made with full grain Italian calfskin leather, Blake stitched, leather sole, rubber insert on the heel. Uh, I love this boot. It's been, uh, as you can kind of see, this, this leather is super marbled, highly textured. The leather is hand painted, has a high polished toe and a high polished heel. So it really, this boot in particular, uh, gets a lot of compliments because it is so unique. The leather is, is unlike any other boot I, I, I own. Uh, but there are other great Chelsea boots out on the market. This is the Moral Code Lowry. This is Goodyear welted, rubber sole, a little bit beefier, a little bit sturdier than the M. Jemmy Dritto. I got this one, it's got the ice blue colorway, not as versatile as a brown or a black Chelsea boot, but uh, you know, you have certain outfits where you know like, oh, this one, this is baller, so I gotta get that. That's the Moral Code Lowry. But if you're not so into, you know, the straight Chelsea boot or you already have a Chelsea boot and you're like, mm, check it off the list. Well, how about a Jodhpur boot? It's very, very similar to a Chelsea boot in the fact that it's narrow, has a pointed toe box, but you get the little extra flare in there with a leather strap and the buckle. So you get some hardware in there. It just elevates that Chelsea boot a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of torn. This is a little bit outside of my comfort zone with that extra flare, but I've really come to appreciate it. This is the Beckett Simonon Douglas uh, Jodhpur boot. And yeah, huge fan of these. So I'm gonna say the second essential boot is a Chelsea or a Jodhpur boot. The third most essential boot you're gonna need for fall 2020 is a suede boot. Now, suede really helps step up some of your outfits because you're getting that extra texture. I personally prefer to get something in an earth tone when it comes to suede. I also prefer a lighter earth tone for suede because usually you'll see a lot of navy or black suede or you know dark brown suede, and those are really good options. You know, having that extra texture in your wardrobe is it's it's a it's a little bit more refined. So, but if you can do something light and kind of not wear it so often because light suede can t tend to look a little bit dingy. Uh, over time if you don't take care of it, but to take good care of suede, all you have to do is click up there and there's a whole instruction on how to take care of your suede. This is the M. Jemmy Fujiri. This boot is, again, constructed in Italy, Blake stitched, uh, super slim, super sleek, and it's suede. That's so many S's, it's insane. Can't stop saying S syllables. The fourth boot on my list is a black boot. This, again, is another Chelsea boot. As you can see, I'm quite obsessed. I love Chelsea boots, but basically when it comes to fall, you can't just only wear brown boots like me. 
you got to kind of switch it up. You got to break out of the box and get a black boot. Now, this is going to serve you well in any sort of business casual environment, any sort of formal environment. Got to have a black boot. Get something sleek, get something stunning like this Ace Marks Troy Chelsea boot. Now I have a review up there. You can check it out, see what it's all about. Again, Italian full grain calfskin leather. This is a super light boot. I think this is the lightest of all these boots, which was really shocking, but super high quality leather sole, great for formal occasions, which, you know, Thanksgiving dinner or any holiday parties, anything like that, you're gonna want a black boot in your wardrobe. For the fifth boot, you're looking at a lineup of some pretty dang good looking shoes. So you think I'm gonna bust out something that is still along the same lines? Well, you are wrong. Boom! You're gonna need a beast work boot because for me, I don't know about you, but once summer ends, I love to get outside, uh, take care of anything in the yard that I needed to take care of. And so for that, I get a beefy work boot. This is the Ariat Work Hog. What I like about this boot is that it is storm welted, so it's 100% waterproof. Uh, this heel, or this, excuse me, the sole is insanity. You can, the, there's nothing you could do to, to break this thing. Uh, it's super comfortable. They use their ATS Pro insole technology. It's a fancy word for saying these boots are just really comfortable. And this, in my opinion, is the best pull-up work boot that I have found, that I have worn. Uh, and it's just, I have a composite toe. I got the, the version with the composite toe. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna need a beefy work boot because you know, winter, fall, winter, rain starts pouring. So if you gotta get out there and throw some sandbags, if you gotta take care of any business, you gotta get up on the roof, whatever you gotta do, things break all the time. Gotta have your feet covered. So that is a must. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up. Also, head over to our Instagram page. It is at bootspyofficial. Give us a follow, send me a DM, tell me what you think, and I'll see you next time. Until then, put your best boot forward.